Welcome back everyone. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about drawing lines using um, our coordinate entry, um, drawing lines a little bit more precisely using our coordinate entry. First of all, uh, remember in one of the other tutorials I talked about how AutoCAD works off of the Cartesian coordinate workspace. In other words, this workspace here um, is based on an X and a Y grid where you have a positive X and a positive Y and a negative X and a negative Y. And um, as you move your cursor around, you're moving, you're changing the coordinates or the XY coordinates of that cursor. Well, when you're drawing objects, you can type in uh, what's called absolute coordinates. So let's say I start my line command. And instead of just picking a point here arbitrarily out in space, let's say I want a point that starts to get exactly 20, 20, which was somewhere around here what I can do is use absolute coordinates. What that means is when I start my line command, AutoCAD's asking me for my first point. Instead of just picking, I'm going to type in on my keyboard 20, then the comma, and then 20. What that's saying is 20 in the X and 20 in the Y. That's why I want to start. Right after I type that in, I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard, and that starts my line at exactly 20, 20. Now, if I want to go to 30 comma 30, then when AutoCAD is down here asking me for my next point, I'm just going to type in 30 comma 30 and hit enter and that's going to take the line to 30 comma 30. Now that's absolute coordinates. You're giving it the absolute coordinates of where you want the start point and the end point of that line to be. Okay? It's not a very efficient way to work in AutoCAD because most of the time you're not going to know what the absolute coordinates are. Well, there's a couple of other ways to do it. Uh, the next one is a little bit better, but not much better, and it's called relative coordinates. What that is, is that's relative from the last point picked. I want to go you know, X amount of units to the right and X amount of units up or down or whatever, relative to the last point picked. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to start my line command, and I'm just going to pick a point out here in space. Now, on my command line, AutoCAD's asking me for my next point. Well, instead of typing in the actual coordinates, I know that I want this line to go five units to the right. Okay? So that's five in the X and zero in the Y, right? But I want that from this point, not from zero, absolute zero, zero. So I'm going to use a symbol. It's the at symbol on my keyboard. Hit the shift key and the number two will give you the at symbol. Um, and then I'm going to type in the coordinates of 5 comma 0. So the at symbol stands for from the last point picked. So from this point right here, I'm going to go 5 comma 0. On my keyboard, I've typed in at 5 comma 0. Now I'm going to hit enter. And AutoCAD has gone 5 units in the X and 0 in the Y. Now if I want to go directly up 10 units, which is 0 in the X and 10 in the Y, but I want that to be relative to this point, I'm going to use my at symbol. So at 0, 10, that's what I've typed in, at 0, 10, and that's saying from the last point picked, I want to go 0 in the X and 10 in the Y. Hit enter, and I've gone 0 in the X and 10 in the Y. Now, if I start a line, and I want to go down, that's going to be a negative number, right? Directly down is 0 in the X and negative in the Y. So I'm going to use my at symbol. I'm going to say 0, comma, negative 10. So that's going from the last point picked. I want to go 0 in the X, negative 10 in the Y. I'm going to hit my Enter key. Okay, and that's relative coordinates. Again, you're using coordinates. You're using the X and Y coordinates relative to the last point picked by using that at symbol. Okay, So instead of typing in from the last point picked, the at symbol symbolizes that. Okay, Now this is one that you're actually going to use. This is called relative polar coordinates. What this is, is you're giving it a distance and an angle. Okay, So let's say I start my line command and I pick right here. I want to draw a line 10 units at a 45 degree angle. 
Well, I'm going to start off. Well, I've picked my first point. Now AutoCAD is asking me for my second point, right? It says specify next point. Now, what I want to do is I want to first type in my at symbol, which is saying from the last point picked, I want to go 10 units. So I'm typing in 10. And now what I'm going to do, when I want to specify an angle, I'm going to type in the less than symbol, which if I hold down my shift key and hit my comma button, the little less than symbol is right above it. So I'm typing in less than 45. Or what I like to say is at an angle of 45. Okay, the little less than symbol basically means at an angle of. So you'll notice I've started my line command when it's asking me for my next point on my keyboard I've got at 10 less than or at an angle of 45. After I've typed that in I hit the enter key and I've just drawn a line 10 units at an angle of 45 degrees. Practice that one because you'll use that one a lot. Now if I want to go directly to the right which is 0 because remember in AutoCAD 0 is directly to the right, directly up is 90, to the left is 180, down is 270, and then all the way down, back around to 360, or 0. And then of course you've got all the angles in between there. So let's say I want to go exactly to the right another 10 units. I'm going to hit my shift key and then my at symbol. So I'm on my keyboard, or excuse me, on my command line I've got at then I'm going to type in 1, 0 for the number 10, and then my less than symbol, and then this number 0. So I've got at 10 at an angle of, or less than, 0. Hit enter, and I've just drawn a line 10 units at an angle of 0. If I want to go straight up, I'm going to say at, let's say 5, at an angle of 90, hit enter. I want to go back this way at 15 at an angle of, any guesses? About 180. 180, hit enter, then straight up at 5 at an angle of 90, hit enter, at 15 at an angle of 0, hit enter, at 5 at an angle of 90, hit enter. Now I'm going to hit enter again to get out of that command. Okay, That's relative polar coordinates. Now you can use those when you're drawing lines, when you're moving objects, uh, when you're copying things, whatever. So get very used to and practice using that relative polar coordinates. Go back and watch this or rewind and, and go over that relative polar coordinates again. And if you have any problems, shoot me an email and I'll see if I can explain it a little bit better. And that's it for this tutorial. I appreciate you watching. Um, keep watching because we're going to go all the way through AutoCAD from front to back. So look forward to uh, seeing you in the next video. Thanks.